Hello and welcome to another update video about AVEX. Um, yeah, the AVEX chart is just a chart that concerns me a little bit uh, since we dropped below 53 US dollars. I gave you at the time a bit of a warning that below 53 dollars the bullish scenario gets completely invalidated and that we can expect a strong drop below 53 dollars. At the time I thought we had a good chance here to turn around to the upside but made you aware below 53 dollars there is um, yeah probably a bit of a significant drop to expect and yeah we had that and we had that and unfortunately since we dropped below that level um, we dropped quite significantly and overall now due to that price drop um, the whole chart can be counted in a corrective way as well I mean I did count it here in a bullish way a one two and another one two but I can also count it as an a b c and then an impulse down which would basically destroy this chart which I hope won't happen, but it's just something that we need to keep on the radar. And it, what adds to the concern here is that AVEX in general is um, very weak. It is very weak at the moment. Yeah, compared to other cryptos, it is super weak. I think it is the only one of the cryptos that I cover, which has already made a lower low compared to the 12th of May low. So here on the 12th of May, AVEX came down to $22.40, Whereas now here on the 27th of May, it made a new swing low at $21.38. It is just a bit concerning, right? Um, overall, in line with what I count um, or how I count this chart for other cryptos, I would also consider that we came down here on the 12th of May in a wave three. We then moved up in a wave four. And from here, we um, probably had this as a triangle. So the wave four probably finished here at around 30 two dollars and we moved down here how i see it currently in a wave one and we are now moving up in a wave two that is how i see it this wave two yeah so if i count this we can count this as a um, wave one this is wave two we would then expect a wave three down a wave four up and a wave five down that is for me currently the sort of the most likely scenario now that can change should we move above the 32.95 level because that would invalidate this wave two. We would come up too high. Um, but this wave two also doesn't have a lot of structure at the moment. So that would probably be a bit of an up and down. An a, B, C would be expected. Yeah, so we should soon move down actually if we wanna have a bit of a structure here in this chart. Um, but overall also for AVEX, I don't think the low is in yet. Um, Technically, it could be, as I mentioned before, for many other cryptocurrencies, since AVEX has corrected down so much um, based on this higher level wave count, it has come down into an area between the 88.7% FIB level and the 78.6% FIB level. We can show that on the chart as well. I think I started at zero with this. Um, yeah, you can see that this is the area here between $16 and $32, the 88.7% FIB level and the 78.6. Ideally, I should have started here, but if I start with the FIBs here, we are already here really borderline at the 88.7. And uh, but so I decided to move it down to zero, which currently shows that we are within this area. and. Because we have come down so much, and if we count this here as an ABC pattern, we can argue that in this wave two here, it has done what it needed to do in the overall correction. It could now move up at any point. But but the overall shorter term wave count does not confirm that. Um, only if we really make higher highs here, we could theoretically look at that, but there's a long way to go for AVEX um, to, to regain trust. Yeah that you know that I trust this chart again because it has come down so much and it's the overall structure that concerns me a little bit as well this sort of potential that we have to count this overall wave count as a corrective pattern so similar to what we could do with Luna um, you can't count every wave and you can't count every every chart corrective but Luna you could looking back at it yeah we can um, and also AVEX but Again, it's just something that the way the chart looks, it looks completely different, for example, to VeChain, to Chainlink, to Cardano, it looks completely different. Um, but yeah, anyway, we are here technically still in a downtrend if you wanna use Elliott Waves or not. If we don't use Elliott Waves, we can also just take a look at this 
and we can see that as long as we are making here lower lows and lower highs we are technically still in a downtrend so the absolute minimum for avex to move back into a first kind of an uptrend would be to move out of this orange target area so it would need to break first out of this descending trend line yeah so this would be if that happened today it would be at around 29 dollars and 66 so we are not even above that level we're just approaching this kind of resistance level and then we would need to break above the 78.6 percent fib level and the previous swing high so that would be at 32 dollars and 64 and then we can move higher next resistance would then be at 38 dollars so when we break above 38 dollars this swing high yeah this highest high of all of them here then yeah then it's probably looking good and we can move even up here to this previous um swing high at 50 dollars so then we are back you know if we break that then we are sort of back in interesting um price ranges but for now it's just coming down yeah it's still coming down i mean we can potentially put here overall on the chart something like a descending wedge which is good which also indicates that hey yes this might be something that can break out to the upside but don't mix things up just because we have a potentially bullish pattern on the chart and we break to the upside it doesn't mean we necessarily go back into a sustainable uptrend short-term upside possible and if you have something on the chart like this like a pattern like this um, it can indicate yeah potential trade setup yeah for example a breakout out of this and a retest in the current environment i would always want to wait for a retest because we are technically still in a downtrend um, if that retest then is successful that is a potential entry point and the possible resistance levels i did give you um, however as long as we are still in the downtrend and haven't broken out here of a pattern and haven't actually made higher highs i technically have to expect that we still come down lower that's just the rules as long as we haven't broken a downtrend we are in a downtrend and therefore primary expectation here for me is still that avex comes down lower until we break the downtrend um, and uh, therefore i'm a bit careful at the moment with avex in general looking also here <clears throat> for example on the daily chart we can still see that we have a short signal on the adx and the trend is actually very strong we can see that indicated on the white line and the red line is above the green line meaning short signal downtrend the rsi very weak as well um, we have seen though now a first bullish divergence which is interesting so on the daily chart a higher low on the rsi a lower low on the price chart indicates a potential reversal together with this bullish descending wedge that could really indicate a breakout point here above the level i gave you which would be at 80 uh, 28 dollars and 60 roughly yeah depending on when it actually happens because the descending trend line so keep an eye on that chart the macd also still pushing higher here with bullish momentum but generally what we need to understand the chart in general looks very weak but we have some good signals coming up here which is interesting also on the daily chart what you can see slightly increasing volume you know slightly increasing volume here very recently since uh, or for the last couple of days actually um, and then two day chart also quite meaningful we see here a potential reversal on the macd that hasn't happened yet but that could give it a bit of a boost when we have here a bullish signal on the two day chart the four day chart is very meaningful for crypto here no major change yet short signal the rsi is still very low not a bullish divergence here on the four day chart that is what i would like to see actually to to support the thought that yeah we could have the low in here would actually be that we see a bullish divergence on the four day chart now i can't see that yet maybe there will be one on the maybe there will be one on the macd yeah but for that we need to turn around first as well so yeah overall here um bit mixed feelings with avex at the moment um short-term upside certainly possible should we break here above that descending wedge and that the chart just needs to prove now that it can move up from here technically the low could be in but i'm just concerned about the overall structure of the chart if i had to choose between avex and some of the other cryptos that i cover that have a much healthier chart because it just looks more like a natural correction then yeah i would rather choose the other ones at the moment i have to be very honest with you um, that might change in the future when avex um, starts to move up again but i'm a bit concerned about the chart i have to be very honest with you um, which doesn't mean that hey short-term upside is always possible and um, i'm a passive observer here at the moment because i just want to stand on the sidelines a bit um, and just 
hope that AVEX will recover because I do hold some AVEX as well, but I'm just a bit concerned in general. So I'll keep you definitely updated about AVEX here. So hopefully you liked the update about AVEX. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.